can't knowingly support these people. Mm. Well, better you suss it out now than in Boston. Well, how'd you find out? Well, TK introduced me to Quentin, so he wanted to make sure he was all above board. And you found out he wasn't? Well, Quentin's probably not aware of the Scott Spear connection. Well, you don't think TK went digging hoping to find some dirt, do you? What are you saying? Well, that TK doesn't want you to go. Nah, it's too sick, because then it's like he still loves you, and no way, not after what you did to him. Yeah, and he's with, with Jennifer now. Yeah, and she may be the one. What? Well, you know, you dumped him so that he could go off and have sprogs with someone. Well, he's been taking a while to get on with it. Hmm. Anyway, let me know what Quentin has to say for himself. Yeah? Yep. So what do you reckon we do? You ask me for advice, that's a first. <laughs> That is so typical. I ask you a genuine question and you treat me like I'm an idiot. Ever wonder why, genius? I am so sick of this. It's like you're waiting for me to screw up just so you can shoot me down. Newsflash, dude, you're not that perfect either. So do we try and make this work or do we just forget it? Things will need to change. You're damn right they will. I mean the bar. You know, business has picked up but we're still having our slow nights. You got any ideas? This is where I say something and you tell me how crap I am, right? No, it's me asking you if you've got any ideas. Tell you the truth, I am all out. <sighs> well, we need something that keeps people coming back, right? Like a loyalty program? No, bigger than that. Something that nobody else is doing. Like an upmarket sports bar. See, if we do it right, we can keep people here all night. They come in after work, they have a drink, they have dinner, watch the game. And you hate it. Funnily enough, I think you might be onto something. Okay, as soon as we've aligned the final bone segment, we can think about inserting the rod. Is everything we need in place? Yes. How's his blood pressure? 100 over 50. I'd like to recheck vascular activity in his right foot. Well, I can't imagine it's altered in 30 seconds. Without the presence of an orthopedic consultant, overconfidence is a luxury you can little afford. Everything is as it should be, Luke. Everyone's doing their best, so let's just focus. I'd like you to recheck Rafe's foot. Mm. Good pedal pulse. That's a minor miracle, considering the reckless speed with which you're conducting this procedure. I am rushing because your brother's condition is critical. The sooner I can close up, the less risk there is of infection and him losing his leg. I don't think you want that to happen. Mm. I certainly have nothing to hide on that front. I'm well aware of the Scott Spear present on a Mizumi board. A very minor presence. Those people are murderers. Cold-blooded gangsters dressed up as company directors. They killed innocent people. They're accessories, possibly. Maybe not even that. I think you're kidding yourself. Possibly. But I'm also a great believer of thinking laterally. Please, hear me out. I don't need to convince you of the destruction MS can cause. It's my personal mission to get rid of that destruction. I've tried so hard and so long to find the level of financial support that study deserves. It just wasn't out there. So the solution was to sell out? The men who ran Scott Spear were ruthless, heartless scumbags. I find what they did beyond immoral. But it's not Scott Spear we're dealing with here. Yes, there are two ex-Scott Spear board members serving on the Mizumi board. And maybe they did turn a blind eye to what was going on. But they're in the minority. And then again, just maybe they're seeking to make amends. Oh, that's a huge stretch. All I ask is that you consider the bigger picture here. If I could offer you a pill that would cure you, would two old fat cats really seem that important? Position the right is correct. Screw, please. Oh, damn it, another screw. Well, this is ridiculous. You're in out of your depth. You're taking far too long. I'm going to page a consultant. OK, I'd like everyone to pause for a moment. Are you insane? Luke, I understand you're stressed. I understand this must be very difficult seeing your brother like this, but right now you are making things worse. Now, clearly you have little confidence in me, not something I deserve, but still you interfering and undermining me is increasing the chance of something going very wrong. Either leave right now or stay and be quiet. Your choice. May I continue? got my old job back. Is that a good thing? 
Well, I did fancy being the big boss of a hospital, but there's plenty of time for that, and I get to run the private sector of Shorten Street, which is cool, and I get to work for your dad. So, that's me sorted. What about you? How are we going to get you out of this bunk? <laughs> you can't. I'm a hopeless case. <laughs> Why is that? Um, because everything in my life is just a giant pile of nothing. And I dropped out of high school, I married a crim, I flunked out of journalism school, and now to top it all off, I gave up on running my own business because that was too hard. And then there's when a kid stole alcohol from me and almost crippled himself. So all in all, I'm an epic failure. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. You don't have to be nice to me. You really don't know me, do you? I was a lot like you at your age. You're right. I was. I ran around doing a whole heap of things. The more people told me not to, the more I wanted to do it. I ran a bar, I tried to be a social worker. You? Yeah, and you know what? I don't regret any of it. Life's not meant to be safe. The stuff we try and fail at, that's what makes life interesting. So what are you going to do next? Well, I want to go back to tech and get my degree, but it's not till next year. In the meantime, have another adventure. Do something completely different. Like what? Get a job at the hospital. I'm looking for a PA. You'd be great. No, just think about it. That's all I'm saying. Hey, um, how did, uh, Presley take it? You told him to stick it, right? Not yet. Oh, look, you're making the right decision. I mean, it's a bummer to miss out on Boston, but there are other MS studies. Good studies. I'd be lucky to have you. So how about I make some calls? Thanks. Sarah's very lucky to have someone looking out for her like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she's on her own. She's going through a bit of a rough patch. It's nice to get off my nose to give her a bit of support. Well, you were lucky to find the information you did. Yeah, I guess so. You've got a problem with this, haven't you? I'm wondering if, subconsciously, you want Sarah to stay. So you're looking for reasons why she should. Oh, hang on. Given our discussions over your past relationships, I don't think it's an unfair assumption. Maybe not, but uh, it's a wrong one. I've moved on, OK? I, I, I do the same for any of my friends. Oh, surely you're not still working. Oh, it's Jeffrey's girls are built up. How did it go? Oh, despite my reservations, Isaac did a fine job. A very fine job. Rafe's expected to make a full recovery. That's brilliant. I suppose he's still a bit drowsy. Yeah, I expect he will be for a while. Well, why don't you go and get a coffee? I'll do his ops, and if he stirs, I'll call you. Thank you, Tanya. I'd very much appreciate it. Hey, you're back with us. You've had an accident, and you're in hospital now. We've operated on your legs, so you might be a bit sleepy. You are so utterly exquisite. I'm Tanya. I'm here to make sure that you're all OK. Your brother Luke's um, not far away. Tanya. Well, Tanya, I think it's only fair to let you know that I plan to marry you. Let's see how you feel once the anaesthetic's worn off. Oh, no. I'm quite certain of it. Sometimes hearing the truth... I've done something. ...does more than hurt. Please don't touch me. Sometimes discoveries... He needs to know. ...can be deadly. Which leaves you little better than a murderer. Sometimes facing reality... As a Sarah here, I need to see her. ...can break your heart in two. She is going. But the biggest threat of all is always the one you never see coming. Shortland Street. Next week.
TV2.